my uh, older sister had a lot of trouble uh, with bleeding and with, you know, when she had her, jo uh, her ankles um, worked on and stuff, she had a real problem. My family didn't even know it was hemophilia until 1938 when my brother was born. My mother was seeing the same problems her brother, her older brother had. And then a friend of the family wrote to a doctor, Cutter, and he told them that it was hemophilia. So that that's when they knew it was hemophilia. And then they, my brother would get whole blood, my father would donate, and sometimes just lay across the table from each other and uh, give one blood to the other. since 1951. As a little girl, I'd go door to door with mom, saying that there was a blood drive and I got to hand out the little piece of paper and times and everything. And then uh, when I moved to California, you know, that's what started with Northern California. And it was 24 seven because I worked the foundation as an executive director in 84, I think it was, they have gone and done amazing things over the years, and I've done, you know, several of the things with them. NHF was a community of friends that my mother and father started in, 50, in the 50s. Uh, and, you know, we knew, you know, all the uh, hemophiliacs on Long Island. And since they had to ask for blood, on a regular basis. My, my mother would send out 250 uh, Christmas cards every year. And, and you know, because everybody that ever donated blood to my uh, brothers, for years my, my mother would send them cards, which would remind them to come back and donate again. I used to do all the national awards for the annual meetings because I also did an engraving business at home. I did all the awards for the foundation, and then um, they were presenting award and you know mentioned Northern California, and you know I'm thinking, okay, I didn't do anything for anybody in Northern California, and it was my uh, award for leadership that I got. <laughs>